Greetings everyone, so I will be dividing this video into two parts. The first part, I'm going to speak about the dino itself versus the gorilla behemoth. As for the second part, I'm going to do some tests so you have some clarity about this subject. Now, this is generation 2 dino. And that is a generation 1 behemoth, which is the gorilla. Let us say it in short. Who is stronger? When it comes to the stats itself, anyone, any child can just open up the levels and the, the stats, see the stats for himself or herself. If you pay attention, the beam of attack, beam of damage, beam of defense and health is way much lower than their nemesis, the generation 2. You actually have more than 10%, it's almost 20% for the attack and extra damage, extra defense, extra health, literally. On every aspect, the dino is stronger. However, when it comes to the low levels, even if the dino itself is providing you with more buffs for your army, your dino is good as shit if it died. And that's the main issue when it comes to the dino. Even if the dino is stronger, the dino still is going to be pointless if it cannot sustain the damage from the behemoth. Behemoth, in general, gener generation 1, is not stronger than the dino because of, like, uh, because of the stats or something. It's because he gains an early access to the skills that affects the dino in battle that affects any behemoth in battle. For example, you have this skill, Destructive Missiles, which is literally the second skill which is accessible by anyone and it deals huge damage to the backline. And early on, when you invest in the dino, I think up to level 2 something can be literally one shooted by one skill. One of these skills is more than enough to destroy the enemy dino free to play or not it's possible to eliminate it with literally one hit which here comes my problem and which one you are actually supposed to be focused on early on behemoth comes with three skills these three skills all of them affects how you are targeting any behemoth destructive missiles hits the back line Electromagnetic protection protect your behemoth and your army. Ignore the fact of the army buff because it's not really great. But again, it is the same. You are protecting your behemoth from the damage that the enemy behemoth is dealing. And the dominating aura itself again reduces the damage that the enemy behemoth is doing to you and your army. Now, when it comes to the dino itself, the dino is never going to start hit the back line until far late until really far late like the first skill does not target anything the second skill doesn't target the back line either even if there is anything that is related it comes literally uh, far late let me show you an example here if you paid attention the first skill that would actually Effect your behemoth a genetic reconstruction. When taking a lethal damage, there is a 100% chance of avoiding death and restoring healthy behemoth. So, unless your behemoth has this skill, there is a low chance of your behemoth even surviving and make it, make it out without even dashing any skills. Anything else, literally anything else, does not really add any benefits when it comes to you attacking the behemoth. Starting at the fourth skills, basically, it's going to be much better and you will be able to actually start uh, healing more when it comes to your behemoth. I think it provides you with some healing. Finally, this skill, this basically skill, doesn't affect much when it comes to hitting an enemy behemoth. I mean, we are in the scenario that a dino 
is hitting into a gorilla here. We're not at the scenario in which both of them are hitting each other with an equal to T. Like this guy has a behemoth and dino, the other guy is having a behemoth. Dino. We are just comparing if you have only a dino, if there is an enemy with only a dino, and there is an enemy with only a behemoth. However, maybe in the future, uh, when you maybe upgrade the ultra skills, or whatever, but now we are talking about a free to play guy who is lost and doesn't know what to upgrade. For this one, I would recommend the following. You are going to start with the generation one and hopefully it's gonna take so much time until you reach or the game unlock generation two for you. So if I am a free to play guy, what I'm supposed to be focused on, I'm supposed to be focused mainly on destructive missiles and the fourth skill, Dominating Aura. Once you get these two skills, then you are set as a free to player. And you can then focus in Dino. By that time, you're supposed to be having a Dino. However, however, listen to, to basically this. If both got unlocked for you in a timely manner and you did not have enough time to focus on, then for the Behemoth, you maximize the destructive missiles and go ahead and upgrade the dino as much as possible now when you get a chest to use from like use an item from you will have the option to pick a fragments for either dino or the behemoth itself if the fragments that is offered inside gives you two times for the behemoth for the gorilla behemoth then pick up the gorilla behemoth if it's two to one if it's two fragments versus one fragment then pick up the one that offers you two times do not be stupid and pick up one even if it's a dino dino is strong but what makes dino strong is not the ability of killing the enemy behemoth it's the ability of keeping your army alive. I hope this basically answered your questions. And when it comes to the flame eruption or anything else, this skill, the destructive ray, deals way more damage and affects way more uh, the enemy dino. While this one is literally a weaker version of the destructive missile. You can even you can even see it here. Now. Uh, we are going to show you a test. On this test you will see the following. An account, both of them is similar and both of the behemoth is gold. At the same time, the dino has stronger stats and both of the skills doesn't affect much. Really, this one will have a destructive and the other one will have the flame eruption and you will see for yourself. Was going to win. We are going to repeat this test two times for your eyes to see.